Yeah, and Luke, congratulations. He just beat Korobov. That was a crazy, crazy game. He sacrificed two pawns in the opening. You took them, then you came on the summon tech. Tell me what happened. No, I just got lucky today. I was probably completely lost, but uh, he tried to play against my time. And uh, probably that was my only hope. I mean, my uh, saving grace, actually, because if he had simply thought a bit, I think, and won normally, <laughs> I would have just lost. But mm -hmm. he played like a pretty natural sequence. And I think somehow he was just lost after Queen G3, which is very surprising. I think it took us like two minutes to realize how difficult it was mm -hmm. for White uh, already. What went on went through your mind? As you said, you realize you're probably lost. Well, you were lost sight of the computer evaluation before, and then suddenly to think, not only am I surviving, but I might be winning. What goes on in your mind? No, I mean, it was crazy because even once I realized I was winning, it was not at all over because I had like one minute, and yeah. uh, anything can happen in one minute. I'm winning now, I can be losing the next move. So it was. But I was most disappointed actually in the opening because I, I just got a great opening with black. I was just so much better. Mm -hmm. And then I think GH4 was just a very bad decision, but somehow I thought it would be easier to play, but uh, apparently it was not. And uh, yeah, basically I just spent too much time because the position was difficult for me uh, with, with my weak king. But yeah, I mean, in general, I don't know where exactly I could have improved after he castled because mm -hmm. I, I thought for like 20 minutes over there and I didn't find anything. So I'm really not sure what I did there at all. How do you manage to, to keep your cool when your time is so low? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've been playing with time pressure since I started <laughs> chess. So I'm kind of used to it now. And uh, in just one of these games that I managed to swindle in time pressure. Uh, with that win, you moved to five out of eight, is that correct? And you've had a lot of decisive games. I think the last five all ended decisively. Probably. What is it? Do you feel there's something in the air in this tournament, not just in your games in general, we get so many decisive results every uh, every round. Mm -hmm. What do you attribute it to? Um, I, I don't know about the others, but me personally, I think it's because I'm trying to play for a win with both colors, which I was not doing uh, previously. and. Uh, I mean, okay, I've lost twice as well, which is a bit too much for me at least because I'm usually more solid with draws. But yeah, I mean, in general, I'm trying to play for a win with both colors. Mm. Very nice. Uh, we love the ambition here, of course. And uh, tomorrow is another rest day. The first rest day you went to play the football. Not No football is happening tomorrow. So what are you going to do? I'm um, not sure, just relax mostly. And um, we got like, me and my dad brought table tennis rackets. so. We play in the hotel on the uh, hotel table, oh. which is pretty <laughs> small, but it's become quite fun. In the room? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a small round table. And I mean, it's different than normal table tennis, but it's quite fun. We have entertaining matches. <laughs> I love that. Uh, well, enjoy the rest day and congrats again uh, on the win. Thank you very much.